I think everybody in life experiences pain, distress, grief. I don't think all those experiences will be traumatic. Um, trauma is really about your your body's ability to cope, your mind's ability to cope being like overridden with stress. And so most people who experience adverse life events will not be traumatized on the other side. They will have memories and possibly distress and difficulties related to that event, but they they might not go on to experience long-term like pathology as a result. Okay, maybe trauma is too strong of a word then. Cause I just think of like the way I see it is like even if you had, even if your parents did their best, <laughs> even if everything might have been pretty good, even something as small as like this kid didn't give you the candy that you earned, or you know, like something really small could cause a level of like, ooh, like a shift in your brain that changes you, changes the way you think <laughs> and the way you are for the rest of your life. So like I consider that like a level of trauma. Like people, for example, if you're scared of spiders because a spider, someone's a cousin dangled one in front of your face, like things like that. It could be really silly and really small, but it still leaves an impact, right? Right. So that to me would be more like something that was an experience that altered your worldview. Like it could have been extremely stressful to your young self, which for sure, led for sure. to your personality. Absolutely. And that's, that's life, right? We're constantly mm-hmm. being shaped by our experiences, by the people we come in contact with. And that's what forms who we are for better or worse. And I don't know that I would consider those experiences to be traumatic. I would consider them to be like shaping and impactful. Mm -hmm. Um, But that I think what you're getting at is like pain and suffering to some degree are they're inevitable parts of the human condition. And trauma to me sits outside of that. It's another mm-hmm. level of I that see. suffering. It's like a debilitating level. That's where you call it trauma. Right, right. Where if you were, um, let's say if you know your spider example, it's it's not just that you're scared of spiders, but you cannot be around spiders without having a panic attack. You don't leave your house because there might be a spider. It's, it's really, you've crossed the threshold of your capacity to cope with that experience. Right. Okay. Okay. So there's the line is like ability to cope and continue to live on. Right. But I do feel like a lot of people are like on the other side of that line where it's gives them so much anxiety still, but they can obviously function, which I still feel like that's something that you need to heal. Or I guess, what's your belief on that? Yeah. I think that can also come back to like, what's the story around this event? What am I still holding on to? Um, what do I need to heal and, and maybe what am I trying to learn from this experience? But those those are more, I think, the stories that make us who we are. And those stories can be impactful, but not always traumatic. <laughs> 